All right, so now that we're done, I just want to fix a couple of things. And what I want to explain to you is something that you need to know. Now, I open it on my phone, and whenever I press, sometimes I press here, it shakes in the way that I press and the scroll view things that I'm scrolling. So it's like I'm pressing and scrolling at the same time. So that's not, it's not good. All right, to fix this, all I have to do is to call event and target all the events that happen on the toggle component, the start editing, finish it editing. All of them, they give me an event. So what is an event? Let's think about what is an event. An event is something that happens, right? But events have something that is called propagation. So sometimes there are many things listening to an event. And in this case, there are two things listening to our tap event inside of the doo-doo. The first thing is all these buttons, they are all listening to our event, but also the scroll view is listening to our event. So whenever we tap, the event propagates, the event propagates. So this means that the event is being registered by the, in this case, the touchable opacity, the radio here, the touchable opacity, right? Boom. The event is being listened to it, but the event keeps, keeps propagating. So then also the event is being listened by the scroll view, all right? And this is not good because we want, uh, we don't want the scroll view to listen to the tap event because sometimes it might look bad. So to fix this, all we have to do is to use the event keyboard, all right, on all the functions that are connected to the touchable opacity, all right? And all we have to do is say event stop propagation. Stop propagation. That's it. And the last one will be edit in here, event. And we'll say event stop propagation and delete to do also what the hell oh sorry boom and here this and we're good to go now that's it we're done right this is just like small details make difference on the experience of the user perfect now when I refresh here boom as you can see there is nothing there package in the app JSON when I can see here as you can see it's white it's not cool all right, so I'm going to change my splash screen. This is the last part of, the, of this uh, small course. I'm going to change the splash screen to have this background color. So on my app JSON, I am going to say that my background color now is this one. Just give it a minute. All right, so it doesn't work yet because I need to change the assets, splash and icon. Now, thankfully, I already have these assets. You can make your own, right? But I already have these assets. So I'm gonna just uh, go to my Kawaii to do assets, and I'm gonna copy, paste icon, and copy a splash screen. I already have them, and let's replace them. Replace. All right, splash and icon already there. So now, I can refresh. And as you can see, it is working. It looks kind of cool. The only thing that doesn't look cool is this part, all right? Because I'm making contain. I'm gonna do cover. Oh, maybe this is because the image is a little bit small. Maybe. Just let me be here. This is about trial and error, right? It needs to look nice. So here I'm going to return loaded to do's anyways. So, yep, I think it's because my image is a small fucking hell. Ah, I didn't do it at all. Maybe because this is an iPhone 6 and I did it in the other one before. I need to fix this later, but you can do it on your own. Now the background color is going to be this one, resize mode cover. And that's it. I think that's it for this uh, video. It's a four minutes, super simple. It's not a big deal, uh, but this is how you change stuff, all right? On your, yeah, on your thing. On your um, app application with Expo. This is it. It's not very hard. You can, uh, you can download them if you want. I mean, you could if you wanted. Um, all you have to do is make it a little bit more tall because it's a little bit small. And that's it. That's it for the customization. Just create the icon, 
save it i did a png and we are good to go i will see you in the next video where we are going to um build this app to get a uh, android executive android executable app like an apk an apk for android all right see you in the next video bye bye